Quite frankly, I'm useless. But I'm getting better. I'm getting better. There is something within us. Something sacred. Something worth protecting. Who has the best costume? Oh, the Master Chief definitely has the best looking costume. He has the very, very iconic green Mjolnir armor that we've known for so long. So nobody can beat the Master Chief in terms of costuming for sure. We named my costume. It's named Norman. It's one of the gray suits for motion capture. It's terrible. Every day that I worked with Yaren, I was so jealous of her costume. I was wearing this tight, uncomfortable thing, and she was wearing these rags, these raggedy rags every day. Season two, I want to be in that costume. It's all I have left. Who has the coolest character name? I'm gonna go with Soren. I mean, he's just a, one of the coolest characters because he's like an intergalactic space pirate, but he also has a pretty good name. I kind of want to say one of the Spartans, Riz and Bannock. Yeah, you can make a rap out of it if you want. <laughs> the Sang Healy. I think is super cool because there was not a day that passed that we didn't have to discuss the pronunciation <laughs> of that word. I'm going with Parangoski. Badass. Plus, it's fun to see a strong female character who outranks everybody. Amen. You know? Is that going to be an issue? What impressed you most about Pablo as Master Chief? I think he does a really good job of finding the kernel of this man's humanity in a way that doesn't feel overt or cheesy. The juxtaposition of somebody who is a trained weapon and to be able to show the vulnerability within that is something that was just amazing to watch. Actually, the combination of that vulnerability and his strength, his power, his mm. presence is very sexy. Am I allowed to say that? Hello, Master Chief. What is your favorite memory of playing the Halo video game? The memory that stands out is, you know, how quickly I was eradicated and killed by the grunts from just setting foot in the first level. I have a lot of respect for real deep Halo gamers because this game is not easy. I've been highly trained for like 13 hours in Den of Thieves uh, in military movies for like how to handle an actual weapon, but then I step into this virtual video gaming universe and um, quite frankly, I'm useless but I'm getting better, I'm getting better. When my husband plays and I get on the headset and talk to people and they don't know that they're talking to me. Beware, I might be on there. <laughs> That's me, I did not experience that. My youngest son beating me within the first 90 seconds, because it made him so happy. <laughs> He's like, this is your job and you can't even do it. 